Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so in our previous video, we have successfully trained our model and we have also downloaded the model, okay? So here, uh, what I did, I created one folder called self-driving, okay? So this is going to be, uh, so here actually, this is going to be my project folder. So uh, inside that, I created another folder called model, okay? And I kept this model, okay? This model.h5, okay? In this folder, okay? So in this video, actually, uh, what I will do, I will uh, like uh, create my virtual environment, okay? And after that, actually, we'll be doing some requirement setup, okay? So for that, what I need to do, first of all, I'll be opening my terminal here. So you just uh, open up your terminal, uh, like your Anaconda terminal, you can open, okay? Okay, now here, first of all, you need to create one virtual environment, okay? So to create a virtual environment, you just need to run conda, create hyphen n, just uh, give your name, uh, environment, uh, just give your uh, environment name here. So I'll just give, uh, uh, let's give car, okay, car, and I'll just define Python version. So Python equal uh, 3.7, okay, so I'll be taking 3.7 and hyphen Y. So I think, yeah, that's it. Uh, conduct create hyphen N uh, car Python. Uh, okay. Now if I press enter, so it will start creating my uh, virtual environment. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, environment creation is successfully done. Now I just need to activate the environment. So I'll just write conda activate. Okay, just write car. Now here if you see our car has been activated. Okay, previously it was uh, Anaconda. So now here I will open my uh, VS code. So I'll just write code dot. Okay, now here first of all, uh, I will create one file called requirement.txt. Okay, requirement.txt because inside requirement.txt will be mentioning all the requirements. Okay. Now guys, uh, these are the requirement actually you need to install. Okay. Uh, like uh, uh, to create our uh, like you can say application. So uh, here, first of all, I am uh, like installing the OpenCV. Okay. Then NumPy, Matplotlib, TensorFlow, Keras, uh, Python socket IO. Okay. This package I'll be using to connect with my UDA city simulator. Okay. Then Flask I need uh, like uh, because we need uh, socket IO and Flask okay both uh, to connect with our UDA city simulator okay because Flask will uh, launch one server okay and that server actually will be connecting with our UDA city. Then I, I also need uh, this package okay now what I will do I will just save it control S now I'll open my terminal and I'll just write pip install hyphen r requirement.txt okay. So it will uh, install all the requirements one by one, okay? So it may take some time, uh, so let's wait. So when it will get over, so I'll come back. So yeah, guys, you can see uh, requirement uh, installation is done. Now, uh, two more requirement actually you need to install here because uh, previously when I was uh, like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, running this application, okay? Uh, so I was getting some socket issue. Okay, so uh, For that actually I was uh, like uh, uh, Researching that okay on the internet uh, like how I can solve this one So I got to know like two more uh, packages actually I need to install if I am using socket IO Okay, and if I uh, and if I want to connect with the UDA city simulator, okay, so let me uh, quickly show you this to, to command So guys uh, the first command you need to run this one like pip install Python uh, Engine, engine IO, okay. And uh, this is the version. So this specific version actually you need to install, okay. I will uh, give all the command, okay. Now uh, I will uh, sh share all the code, uh, okay, in my GitHub. You will get everything, okay. So let's uh, install this one first of all. Okay, it has been installed successfully. Then I need to install the second one. So this is the command to install your socket IO, and this is the specific version, okay. Now let's execute. Okay, guys, it's done. Now, I think uh, we are good to go. So I think, yeah, all the installation we have uh, successfully, uh, like, uh, done. Okay. So in our next video itself, actually, we'll be starting writing our drive.py. Okay. And then actually, we'll be connecting with our code uh, and uh, we'll be uh, doing the uh, prediction. Okay. Prediction of our model. So yes, guys, uh, this is all about from this video. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.